Welcome to the module Weapons. In the best of two worlds, you won't be carrying a weapon as a bodyguard, at least if you work in the Western world. However, in some countries, and especially in the Middle East and in Asia, you will always be wearing a weapon. We will try to teach you the basics of non-lethal weapons, lethal weapons, and uh, what to use, what not to use. We won't uh, go into detail with um, with all the, the specs of, of weapons, but we will teach you the basics of what a bodyguard should be wearing. Have fun! Uh, okay, so how does somebody new to the industry uh, learn about firearms, weapons and weapons handling and weapons control if they're in a country that doesn't actually allow the private ownership of weapons? Um, it's really, really difficult. Um, I've known of a lot of people that have decided to go into the industry and because their countries don't allow them to carry weapons openly or to even possess weapons, uh, irrespective of their line of work. Uh, the guys tend to train with airsoft, uh, propane-powered gas guns. It's not ideal, but it's still a form of training. It does teach you a level of familiar, familiarization with the weapon as long as we talk about training and not playing airsoft as a sport, that's totally different. But if it's used as a training, uh, as a training platform, it's actually quite effective. Um, you can learn the basics of carrying a weapon concealed. What does and doesn't show, what is and isn't accept, accessible under a suit, um, what constitutes a good holster or a bad holster, how to get it out into a draw position, uh, how you're going to cover the principle while you're drawing your firearm and controlling it. Um, what are the safe safety procedures in handling a firearm? Um, so there is a degree of what you can learn about firearms handling from airsoft and simulated weapons, if the country that you're in is um, I've known a lot of guys that actually travel to South Africa to train here, specifically because it's not as easy to get a gun as people would think, uh, but you can get firearm licenses here. If you've got the right justification and motivation for it, and you've got the time and patience to do the paperwork and wait for your criminal record clearance and all the fun and games that goes with it, um, then there's not a problem. South Africa, you can own firearms, you can carry firearms, you can have sporting firearms, you can have semi-automatic firearms, uh, pistols, semi-automatic rifles, assault rifles, the only thing you can't have in South Africa is a fully automatic rifle. The only way you get to train with us in South Africa is with the police or with the military. So only up to semi-auto. So a lot of people come to South Africa specifically to train with weapons because there's a number of schools where you can attend a 10 day workshop in basic firearm safety, basic firearms familiarization and handling, um, body position, trigger control, uh, how to control a flinch, how to break tunnel vision, which is also important. Uh, using basic firearm skills in team movement, because you don't want people who don't know what they're doing with them, waving them around when bullets are flying. Uh, you want to know that everyone in the team knows what they're doing. So I can definitely sympathize with the guys in Europe, because I think your firearm laws are pretty tight there. Um, but by the same token, the guys here in South Africa that we can train with firearms every weekend, it's great fun, it's no problem. I always advise the guys locally, don't get complacent. Don't always think you're going to have it. The rule could change tomorrow and you may not be able to 